Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Pay Luca Party, episode 7. Coming up, fashion, glamour, totally serious hand modeling, and all so much more in this Pride Edition vlog from Lady M. Summer heat, 80 degrees in humidity, let's see if my face melts off. As well as the parade goers marching, and lots of love from you beautiful people out there. Cue the intro, editor. Welcome back, beautiful people, to all my repeat followers and new followers alike. Uh, in this edition of Peluca Party, Episode 7, we give you a little behind-the-scenes tea, some makeup, some fashion, and finally taking our glorious pride garment out on the streets. Mother is breaking out of her box, darling. It's early morning and Lady M is just blocking out her eyebrows, her sideburns. She's still sleepy, but she uh, has at least one cup of tea in her for sure. I've been loving these new sort of tattoo sticker eyebrows. They're very efficient for getting ready. I still love to hand stencil in an eyebrow and freehand, but uh, where we can add some efficiency to the routine is definitely a bonus. After some skin prep, we go into that eyelid, honey. My thoughts and goals in designing this look were to create a vibrant eye that also complemented this sort of hot, hot sunset of blush coming up. I used orange, yellow, coral. So to contrast that, I went with complementary colors in purple and fuchsia. Here we go in with some white on the waterline, really brightening those eyes up. We were really looking forward to meeting people and just getting out and really allowing people to see the details in our work that really can be best seen in the light of day. Maybe not in 80 degree weather, but you know, some concessions have to be made. In anticipation of the weather, we definitely made sure we layered our cream colors and set them with corresponding powders, really just trying to bake and beat that makeup. Mother was definitely starting to feel herself now. Here we cut the crease with a bit of shimmer, 
We really enjoyed having this time. We took off from work, which is really great to take a break for oneself and just have fun and uh, really enjoy putting on my paint. Usually I take about two hours, but you know, I took my breaks today. And in addition to thinking about the weather and the conditions, I thought, you know, have a cup of tea, watch fun videos on my phone for five minutes, really enjoy the process because even though we were planning to film content, we really didn't have a too specific of a timetable. We sort of got up early with that in mind. As long as we left around 12 and we had time to witness a good bit of the parade, we were golden. Here I marry my eyelashes to the falsies with mascara. I chose a set that were sort of chopped up and constructed by me, but I wanted something that was definitely traumatic on the outer part and very tiny on the inner part to keep that center of my face open. Because this pair is uh, hand cut and stacked by me, they were a little tricky to get on because of the layers and drama that mother was going for, but we finally got them on and they were worth it. We finally start to address the lower half of my face. Blend away. We continue the blush down the cheekbones, really deepening that corner pocket to make things pop. On a personal note, as somebody who works a day job and doesn't necessarily have the connection to the nightlife scene that other drag queens do, I love going out for pride and being out in the daylight and just getting to see all the queens and kings and drag things, and really just feeling connected to my community as well as promoting the work that I do and just the craft and love I have of drag as an artist. Here I've broken out a dark eggplanty brown and I just started to line my lips. Thankfully you can't see this on the video, but I was kind of struggling with the lip symmetry this day. Not everything goes perfectly, but I think we pulled her together in the end. Now for our liquid lip color, and we are ready to lacquer her on. This sort of vibrant pink tone, purpley pink if you will, meant to echo the purpley pink in the crease of the eye. You'll see coming up we add a little bit of a cooler purple tone, a bluish hyacinth color, and a little accent of metallic on the center of the lip just to add some depth. The final touch is glamorous, glamorous setting spray. Now that the mug was done, it was time to strap on those heels, pull on those pads, and pop on that wig, honey. Time to get glamorous. Here she is in her fully crystallized final fantasy form, darlings. Here is that beautiful hand-tied, rainbow-dyed, full-progress pride zip-tied fringe, honey. Gold boots, gold gloves, vintage dead stock, and matching bangle bracelets in the full rainbow as well. There we are waiting out on the street. Hello, hello, beautiful people and the glamorous part that nobody talks about, trying to fit giant hair into an Uber. And this was an XL too. Here's Lady M pounding the pavement and ready for all you beautiful people. We enjoyed this so much. Everybody was so, so kind and the weather was, it was humid, but it did not rain, which is what we were mainly concerned about because up until the day before, we had a good chance of showers. Here's a fun shot of us fanning ourselves. Little pan down to our beautiful dress. The mood 
was electric and the music was bumping. Everybody was in that party mood, honey. As an artist and drag queen living in New York City, I don't take it for granted that I'm celebrated and I'm out in broad daylight in the streets in full fantasy drag. And so every time I go out, I'm always humbled by all the love I receive and I just want to spread that love back to all of you. If you enjoyed watching this vlog style footage of our pride trip, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more Peluga Party. Happy Pride, beautiful people. Love, Lady Anne.